R contains a number of datasets that come preloaded. These are example datasets for you to use to test your own code. And in R, there's a, a function called example, which demonstrates the use of a function, often with one of these built-in datasets. In this video, I'll demonstrate a few examples that use these built-in datasets and how you can access them yourself. So if I want to see what built-in datasets are currently loaded in R, I run the data command. So this data function brings up the data sets. So I've got quite a long list here of data. And this isn't a complete list of what's in uh, what's available in R. There's also the modern applied statistics with S data sets, which I can load through library mass. This will give me even more. So if I run data after this, this data set is even larger. So if I go here, data sets with package mass, so I've got an, another list of data sets here that are not built in. Let's say here this phones package. If I want to access one of these, or if I want to pull one of these into our global environment, I hit data with the package name. And here you see the example data set is loaded in the global environment. And if I hit phones, it will display the data. Now I mentioned in the intro that there's an example function, so example built into R that runs examples from the help. So if I write example, give it a function, let's say hist for histogram, R will use the built-in data set to demonstrate the use of histogram. So here we have the hist function and it's using the islands built-in data set. So if I hit enter, you'll see it's plotted this data in a histogram. Let me step through here. We can also plot the data ourselves directly. Here in our built-in data sets, we have this air passenger data for passenger numbers from 1949 to 1960. And if I want to plot this, sometimes it's just as easy as saying plot, and I want to plot air passengers. So I'll hit enter to see the plot, and you see here, it's plotted the data from the air passengers. And I can access, let's have a look at, see what the data is. So the data in air passengers is a list of years. It's a matrix of years, this table, and months. So each year, for each month, it has the passenger data. And that's what's plotted over here on the right. Another interesting data set is the Michelson-Morley experiment. So I want to bring that into memory with data Morley. So that comes up here in my global environment. And I want to create a box plot with this. I'm not going to describe too much in terms of the details of the box plot, but if you go to Wikipedia and you look at the entry for box plot, it has an example of the Michelson-Morley plotted as a box plot. So I'm going to replicate that here. So I want the speed as a function of the experiment. I'm using the Morley data and the X label. I want to be experiment number. So this matches up with what's in Wikipedia. If you go to search Wikipedia for the box plot, it'll give you an example using the Michelson-Morley data. And that's what I'm going to plot here. This should be very close to what we see in that example. So you see here, I've plotted it out as a box plot. And just to show you, I'm going to open up the web browser I'll go to wikipedia.org and I'll search for box plot. So you see here, this box plot is exactly or very close to what I plotted in R. If I go over here to R Studio, it's, you know, with a few differences in dimension, it's basically the same data. So play around, have a look through some of these data sets. There's some interesting data you might want to have a look at. And if you're ever unsure about a certain function, uh, quite often there's some example data that you can use to test it. And that'll conclude this video on using the built-in data sets in R.